Education Policy as an Agenda for Election 2017. Investing in education and training would allow Kenya to have a skilled workforce which will provide a solid foundation for lasting development. Despite increased school enrollments in education, the sector still faces a number of challenges, such as 1. Challenges in education sector exist in relation to access, equity, quality, infrastructure, accountability, and inadequate resources. Though the government eliminated school fees in primary schools in order to increase access to education, maintaining a high-quality primary education continues to remain a challenge. In addition, a significant number of disadvantaged children cannot access quality education. Early Childhood Development and Education ECDE enrollment as of 2016 was over 3 million. Primary school enrollment as of 2016 was over 10 million and technical, vocational and education training enrollment was over 200,000 in 2016. Numbers of schools as of 2016 was pre-primary school 25,175, primary 22,939, secondary 8,592, and universities at 70 in both public and private. In particular, special needs education is constrained with inadequate number of specialized expertise, inadequate equipment, and trained teachers. 2. Challenges in provision of basic education and training. This is due to lack of adequate data and lack of policy and service standard guidelines to support the program. Majority of teachers in these institutions are also untrained, raising the issue of quality. Total number of teachers in primary schools in 2015-2016 was 300,060. 3. Challenges in relation to human resource and capacity building. Most sub-county education offices do not have space for both working and storing their documents. They are thinly spread to effectively supervise and monitor implementation of education programs. 4. Inefficiency and poor governance. There is poor monitoring of service delivery and management of resources, especially under the FPE Free Primary Education Program. This is likely to result in failing academic standards in education. Pupil completion rate as at 2016 was 83.5% and pupil transition to secondary school was 81.3%. Issues for policy consideration in order to improve the education sector include to improve access and quality education the government should ensure pupils at primary level stay in school and also transit to secondary school level. The government should also establish more technical, vocational and educational training institutions and recruit staff. Capacity building should be enforced for effective implementation of the curriculum and ensure there is equitable distribution of teachers. In regards to infrastructure and learning environment, the government should construct more schools and maintain the existing ones. Public-private partnerships in the sector is inevitable and will greatly lead to expansion of education at all levels. Curriculum review due to evolution of the world to be more technological based, investment in development of strong curriculum for knowledge-based economy due to the correlation of education system as a key driver of economic growth. Conclusion Efforts should go into preparing Kenyan youth for jobs in the highly globalized economy. This calls for concerted efforts to correct the mismatch between skills of graduates and the demands of a workforce. Investments in the sector should be made in areas that will foster innovation and help to build a skilled and educated workforce.